In this video, we are going to talk about uh, transformation operators with RxJava and Android in particular. So I, uh, in, my, in my course, my RxJava and Rx Android course, I'm going to be covering some of the operators, some of the transformation operators, not all of them, just like I have done in the other lectures. I can't cover all of them. There's just too many. Well, I could, but I'm not going to because I don't want to spend that much time on Rx. Um, so I'm going to cover some of the most um, widely known or popular or most widely used ones. So we have uh, the map operator, buffer, debounce, flat map, concat map, switch map. And I think I actually forgot one in that list, which is the throttle first operator. And I'm, I could add more, like at this point, um, I could add more operators to here. So if there's not an operator, if there's an operator that uh, you are interested in and you don't see it here in this list, go to my go to this lecture on my website, just go to courses, Rx, Android, Rx, Java for beginners, go to the transformation operators lecture right here. And, uh, and look at it because depending on when you're watching this video, I may have updated this post and I may have more operators on here. So uh, definitely ch check that out just to make sure. So uh, what is the job of a uh, transformation operator? The, what is, what is this, this category of trans transformation operators? I'm going to burp. I just had lunch. I shouldn't record videos after I eat lunch. I always end up burping and coughing and it's all bad. But anyway, so... Uh, so a transformation operator. It's an operator that can transform objects, in this case, because we're talking about Java and Android, uh, that are emitted by an observable. And in some cases, it means transforming them into another form, transforming them into another observable object, transforming them into another object, basically just changing them, changing the properties of the objects that are emitted. And this, the simplest, um, simplest example of this is with the, uh, with the map operator. So the map operator... Uh, it applies a function to the emitted object and changes it basically. It's very kind of the simplest of, well, maybe not the simplest, but you probably will, will end up using the map operator quite a bit. And uh, coming through this, I realized that it's probably not a good use of time for me to sit here and talk about these since I'm going to be making a lecture on each individual operator. So what's the point of me doing a short description? So anyway, I'm going to probably stop the video here then. And, um, uh, in the next video, I'll, I'll talk about the map operator and the one after that, I'll do the buffer operator and so on and so on. And we'll talk about the technical details behind using this, th these operators, when to use them, when not to use them, examples, all kinds of good stuff. I'll see you in the next video.